Hi everyone, I'm here with Alexander, Hi guys. our support manager and today we're going to show you one of the most common usage feature with our uh, WP Data Tables plugin. It's called conditional formatting, so st stay tuned to see how the conditional formatting works on our tables. Here we go. Okay. So in order to use this, as I understand from the documentation, uh, this uh, conditional formatting is uh, very useful if you have, have a large amount of data, is that right? Yeah, pretty much. If you want to filter data and display it uh, differently on a, on a table, it's very useful for uh, large tables. Okay, so for today we have, let me just see... Yeah, we have a, uh, an SQL query based table that we use in our documentation under creating a large MySQL server-side processing mm -hmm. table. So mm -hmm. you can all download the same database dump from our documentation. And use that table for... Yes, this is the link for downloading that table. Okay. Now, uh, we've just adjusted it to uh, reflect the current dates because the mm, SQL table, yeah. Okay, okay, it's, yeah. It's a bit old, so we just updated it to 2021. And you can see it goes all the way up to uh, May 31st. Okay. And uh, we already have some conditional formatting in this column, so I'm just going to show you what that is. Well, we basically set if the cell value is above or equal to 5, the cell color will change to green. So you mm -hmm. can see that in action right here. Okay, so if you want to, for example, to change that color, how would you do that? Yeah, well, we simply edit the, the rule and we change the color to, I don't know, blue save save changes and it changes to blue okay so are there any some other rules or just the cell color uh well actually there are a lot of rules uh, that you can use for example in the company um we can set conditional formatting where uh cell value contains add up and we can set i don't know what do you, what do you want to see here we have uh Reset cell color to default. That's well useful for the other column, but set cell content. We can change it to, um, <clears throat> for example, anything else. WP data tables. Yeah. So when we save that, we change okay. add up to WP data tables. So the conditional formatting also works for the string columns, not just mm -hmm. integer or float columns. Yes, yes, it works for uh, string columns, it works for date columns, it basically works for every column type there is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I don't know, we can change uh, the date uh, if the cell value is equal to okay, placeholder. there are some placeholders. Yeah, okay. they're av available when you click on, on the criteria here. So we choose uh, today and we can add row CSS class. For example, hide everything that's above today. today. Okay. So when we save that, you can see that the rows that are above today are hidden. Now this is just a CSS rule. The rows are there, but they are hidden with the... Uh, Conditional format. Yes, okay. that's right. So we can just change that to a set row color to, let's say, yellowish or green save changes and here it is everything that's above today's date which is march 22nd 2021 will be colored in this greenish okay. color are there also some other placeholders for the date counts i saw that. yes yes uh, you can use um, last week this week next week last 30 days last month this month and next month okay you can choose whatever you want to do here. Um, for example, what would be the good use case here? We can set a CSS class uh, for, let's say, if... Okay, so you can now add more rules than just one for the... Yes, yes, okay. you can add as many rules as you want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, for example, if we add a value for Boland to set uh, custom row class and call it a uh, custom color it's not gonna do anything because we need to define that 
in the new customized section and custom CSS. Um, custom color. And we set the color to be, let's say, white. No, okay, uh, white. And save changes. Let's see if I did this correctly. So, Borland set row CSS class. Sorry, this has to be cell CSS class. Okay. Custom color, Borland. Um, did I, I didn't do something correctly. So, let's just double check again. Custom color, row CSS, cell CSS class, Borland. Now, this may require an important clause. There it is. So, yeah, with, with important, it overrides the CSS of the table and changes the color to white. So, okay. yeah. Um, let me see if there's anything else we can do. Yeah, well, for example, from the conditional formatting um, example on our website, you can see that a lot of uh, conditional formatting has been applied to yeah. these tables below and above a certain value. So we can do that for WP data tables. We already did, did that for the amount. Now we can set if it's above and equal, if it's above or equal to five, let it be blue. If it's equal to, I don't know, 10 cell color should be red. If it's below five, set cell color to light green. You just applied, uh, if it's equal to 10, it will be white, as I saw. Yeah, okay. It's not right. oh, yeah. yeah, that's right, I didn't save it. So I need to actually select the color on the map. Yeah, okay. Yeah, nice. That pretty much shows what you can do with conditional formatting as when it comes to um, styling of, of the table. Yeah, that can be very useful if you have a large amount of data. I also saw in the table examples documentation mm -hmm. <clears throat> that there are a lot of tables that are really using that feature. Yes, in the table examples, I believe that the catalog of right? books catalog of books actually uses uh, conditional formatting to apply the stars. The um, average rating is applied with conditional formatting where a number, this is actually an integer column mm -hmm. and uh, based on the number that's in here, these images are pulled and applied to the table. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's also some other example for like uh, cryptocurrencies, I believe, it also has some conditional formatting applied. Yes, uh, Bitcoin, yeah. XRP, and also the, the color of the text. Color of text, yes, that's also uh, changed with conditional formatting. Um, all these examples will be added to our FAQ section. At the moment, uh, this cryptocurrencies rank table is available in our FAQ section. So if you go down to support and click on, just a sec, wait for it to open up. Um, tables, examples, uh, here it is, crypto, cryptocurrencies rank table. It's explained in detail what you need to do. It's like a step-by-step -step guide how to create a table. Exactly right. So uh, there, there's custom CSS applied and um, Conditional formatting is here somewhere. Here it is. Conditional formatting for the price column is applied. Blue text, for example, and uh, red text and green text. Everything is, is explained in this uh, FAQ section. Okay. Okay, nice. So that's it for my, well, that's, for my uh, questions. Or... Conditional formatting has a lot of uh, capabilities and possibilities, so uh, it cannot be covered in a, in a five to ten minute yeah. YouTube tutorial, but uh, we'll gladly answer all questions and use cases if you guys want to open up a, a support ticket. And we will do our best to um, help you get the look and feel of the table that you want. Okay. So that's basically it. Yeah. Thank you, Alexander. And Thank you. Like Alexander said, feel free to contact us if you have any 
questions. Also, the link uh, from our text documentation will be below our video. And if you have any suggestions of what would you like to see in the next videos, please let, please let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and see you on another video. Bye guys. Bye.